What's up, man? NFL 25 Gamers. It is week three of the long season for the CN Spillers. Actually, it's week two. I lied. But the CN Spillers are without CJ Spiller, the team captain. So they're going to have to rely on the backup, Arian Foster, as well as the dreaded Bills defense in today's game to take these guys down. What's up, guys? It's your boy Cody Bow here. And today we're going to be taking a look at my Mudden Ultimate Team uh, gameplay here. And I hope to God that I can turn this TV down. Uh, actually, we'll just leave it. We'll turn it down later. But anyways, uh, I'll be running Nickel Strong probably again. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to run Nickel Strong. I'm going to run... Oh, they have 3-4 odd? Ooh. I'm just going to run some 4-3 under for today. Might run Nickel Strong. I don't know yet. But I like me the 4-3 under, so I might stay in it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So here we got the Broncos. Probably got a lot better roster than I got. Play action starting out. There's your sack. That's why you pass them in every play unless you're really, really, really thinking they're going to run the ball. Uh, I think I'm going to go Nickel Strong. I think I'm going to go back to the big Nickel Strong. I think it's the better D. Uh, and also, some of my better players got hurt. Uh, so, so that's what we're going to have to deal with today. I still got Mingo. That's all you need. So, maybe he'll be able to come through for me. Strong Eye Pro. This is that run run I really like out of it. Uh... But you do have to watch out for corner routes to the tight end and then obviously out routes to the left. There's your corner route. And there we go. We got him locked. So third and nine, this is where you gas him up. So here I'm going to send two-way heat. And man align it. Press. Really trying to lock up the... the uh, Oh my gosh, I hate that so much this year, man. That's so stupid. I'm standing right there, but like you have to turn your hips, and it's so hard to turn your freaking hips in this game. Gosh dang it. So I'm really, I'm really more worried about the wide receiver on the left than anything else for that out route. I'm not really necessarily tripping about anything else. Power O. That's the thing. I don't have the run. What? Who is that? Arian Foster. Jeez. My own running back uses my own running back against me. I see how it is. Oh, that's right. The big nickel has the zone blitz. I like the zone blitz a lot. Because the zones out of the zone blitz play like their zones. It's awesome. Ramp. Turn your hips. Turn your hips. Turn your hips. There we go. There's the Bills. What up? Stop. 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 Ah. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Zone blitz. I told you. The zone blitz just it, it actually plays like a zone blitz. It's crazy. All right, here we go. Split slot, got to go to the well. Halfback off tackle. We, we ran over this last game. We got our strategy. We got, we're starting to get some good plays out of this book. We got Matt Ryan, so we don't have a great quarterback. We got a we got a backup running back in there. That we're going to have to lay, lay it on him to carry the load. There he goes, Arian Foster. Boom. Arian Foster's a monster. Let's go, baby. So starting out, uh, we're going to try and hit him with this play action real quick. Just see what we got. We got uh, also got a Shannon Sharp card. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, here we're obviously going to take a shot deep. Try to use or catch it. Obviously, because offsides there, you just take a shot. You just like chuck it and and just like just basically say, okay, well, five yards free, five yards, so free play. Try to let your best player make a play. That's all I was trying to do there. Uh, I'm gonna sub my man Sterling Sharp into the slot here. I got some really good receivers. <laughs> Using the fullback package now. I don't know what the fullback package even is. I guess it puts a fullback out there. All right, it's screen time. It's screen time. Oh, that was almost a bad, bad read. Luckily, he clicked off of him. Didn't realize what I was doing. It's because I got secrets. All right, we're going to back to the run because we got two passes, and both of them were really not great reads. Uh, I'm not known for really good passing. There goes Arian Foster again. And like I said, this is just a run that is very difficult to consistently stop. So I just pound it and pound it and pound it and pound it and force him to adjust to that. Again, pound it. Pound it. There he goes. Third and two, third and two, third and two. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, I got to call Tim out. I hate when that happens. When you accidentally call the fake spike or whatever it is. Really ticks me off. Third and two. This is where you check down into your like heavy, heavy formation here, and use your halfback slash week that I told you guys about last week. 
really effective running play, and I like to use it in short yardage situations like this. Playmaker to the right, and you're just going to pound through that double team and take your three or four or five yards there. And then now we quick snap. So now we go no huddle, we quick snap, and we're basically just looking for an out route. We're blocking everybody and quick snapping that out route. Okay, it's not there. We take our block and release pattern. Hope to God he either drops it, but you're not going to throw an interception there. So that's just easy, quick, quick, quick stuff here. Should have actually quick snapped the corner route, honestly, but. Check out, act like we're out of one, but we're really not. All right, now we're going to quick snap the corner route. Just basically quick snap this quick play here. PA spot set up for the success. And Matt Ryan is sucks balls. Gosh dang it, Matt Ryan. That was wide open, so I'm going to just throw it again. Blind. Because <laughs> I don't think he saw it. It happened so quick. I had it wide open. I got the deep out, so it be, should be good. Boom. Chris Carter on the deep out. Touchdown. Let's go. And that's called being an idiot and getting lucky. Uh, that's what that's called. Because I didn't, uh, I mean, I, it was like an educated look, I guess. Because I knew it was I knew it was probably going to be open. But at the same time, you know, he could have made an adjustment easily to stop that. But I felt like with the speed at which I was running, the, look at Arian Foster. Look at Arian Foster, baby. Let's go. But the, the speed at which I snapped, couldn't stop both the corner and the out. So that's why I really like that combination and that quick snap. Down, especially down the red zone because you got that heavy personnel on the field. Hit stick, hit stick, hit stick. Oh, is this guy like God? What in the world? Champ, is that Champ Bailey? Gosh dang, I guess he is God. Good night. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Zone blitz. They actually play right. I'm going to send off the right this time. Man up. Run, run, power all right, power all right, power all right. Play action. Swat that. Mm. Look at that. Swat. What you do is, if you're not able to intercept the ball, like if you're not, if you're not, um, like for example, right there, there was no way I was picking that off, so I just got on my dude and like literally just like went ham on the LB button. So that's what I do if I can't. Right now we're going to go to the cover two blitz. I like the cover two blitz this year. I really do. To be honest. Quick reads, quick reads over here. Pick Mingo! Mingo! Brian Dykes, you lying sack of crap. Dang it! Oh, by the way, um, right there, that was just... got. Yeah, I should have picked that off. Anyway, right, uh, Brian Dykes, uh, that reminds me. Go to nextgenmen.com immediately, like, effective, like, now. And... Find Ryan Dykes is, uh, what's it, the deep water guy? Deep water, yeah. Find that. Find that guide, purchase it. It's like $2 or something. It's like really cheap from what I remember. It's really, really effective and it's really good. Check it out. It's awesome. He also has a free guide up there if you don't have money right now. Perfectly understandable. Check out his free guide. Uh, he broke down the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. So, two really good schemes by my man Ryan Dykes over there. Uh, Ryan's really a top player this year. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best players uh, in Madden right now. So, uh, got a lot of good things going. He's, he provides a lot of content. All right, we're going to run out of single back bunch. Is that what we got? We got play action now. Ugh, Mingo, you're garbage. Get your butt out there, sir. Dang it, he actually covered a lot of ground. Have a good running game. Uh, the D, guys, the D, the Nickel Strong D. Uh, guys, to be honest, Nickel Strong is one of the best defenses in the game. I just knock on everything this year, to be honest. Yeah, there it is. See the balance? Like, that's the thing about Nickel Strong that a lot of other defenses don't provide. It's because it is the basic concepts that we've been using for years of Madden. You know, five guys to get, or, you know, three-man overloads to one side of the field, occupying the linemen, that kind of that idea. But it's better because the alignment of the formation allows you to really do really a good job. Pick that off, sir. Oh, he caught it. That's so garbage. Hakeem Nix doesn't even play for the Broncos. Ugh. I know it's ultimate team, guys. I got a little crazy there. Anyway. Oh, that. Yeah, this is time to go. And that's one thing I don't do a good job of is I rarely go max coverage. But he's going to get it now because I don't like giving up yards like that. 
Cover ground, cover some ground, cover some ground, set the edge, set the edge, set the edge. Look at that, look at that, Aaron Foster carries my corner for like 25 yards, which I guess is a real thing to be honest, I mean he really does that in real life, so I could see that. But anyways, what I was saying about, what was I saying about Nigger Strong? The formation aligns itself so that it never gives up anything big. For some reason, I don't give up anything in Nigger Strong, even though it's one of the most simplest defense to runs in the game, they just can't move on me, I don't know what it is, I think it's, I think it's like... They're probably just letting me know, like, I'm that good. I don't know what it is, but it's crazy. Pick Mingo! He gave, he redeems himself. Mingo! That was a horrible read. I don't know what the guy was doing on that. He hit him late. Man. If I can get him to make reads like that all day, that'll be, that'll be what I want. Alright, so, Full House, I've actually been, I, I like the Full House a lot, and, uh, just because it provides a lot of balance. I mean, you can pick up a lot of pressures. They just don't have the... The only thing about the full house, and that, that fullback slam run is sick. I love the fullback slam. I've loved it since Madden 12 or 11. But, um... What was I saying about the stupid... I can't even remember what I was saying, guys. I'm talking so fast right now. But I love the runs out of... Like, the, the way the running game works this year, full house is actually... Because it always used to be the full house was so, like, spread out that it... Like, you had to... It wasn't always a good time to run, but the way the run blocking works in Madden 25 is you can really legit, you can run full house like and just be cool because like that's what happened right there. I mean, you see, he had to run commit, but that's what happened all the time. They just shoot the gaps for no reason because the way the the way the formation is, is balanced, it it's good, but it's not, it wasn't good enough to to deal with those heavy running uh, defenses. But now that it is, and now we can use like pass leads and pretty much every passing route's effective in this game. So look at that sick move, Brandon Marshall, go. Go, big boy. Get there. Get there. Oh, hold him. What up? What up? What up? Get some. The CN Spillers are representing for their absent captain today. That's for sure. Look at that. Mm. Now I just got to stop him on defense again. My defense has played really good. I don't think he's had, uh, I think he's had the ball both times. Boom. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. That fullback slam, like, if you hold down the L2 and the truck stick when you hit the line, you're getting a yard and a half. Like it's it's awesome. It's it's really a fun run to use, and I I, I recommend the full house. Uh, full and the fullback slam is only found in the balance playbook, so I might as well take advantage of it while I have that playbook. Boom! The C and Spillers are now playing with motivation. Try out the nickel three three five, Sam. Mm. So now is the question: Do you play really aggressive or do you play really passive? We're gonna play. Passive, aggressive. Come on, shift them, shift them, shift them. Mm, look at that. There we go. Pressure, 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 pressure. Boom. Boom. Look at that tackle by Cromarty. I needed that. I don't know why I'm saying boom to everything, but it is what it is. Why are those blitz angles so slanted? There we go. I think, I, I, think I, can get, I think I'll get pressure off the left. I wonder if I will. Not play action. Dang it. Stupid play action crap. Hey, when that happens. Come on. Get there. Pick. Cromarty, you're high. Oh. Cromarty came to the game high today, folks. Third and 14. We kind of got him. Uh, I showed you guys this. Uh, the the two-way pressure out of the Nicholas Strong. And uh, we're going to use that right now. I think I showed it to you on a blitz of the day or something. I can't remember when I showed it to you. This is really aggressive. Really aggressive defense. Uh, pick. Oh, he just stood there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, guys. Guys. Oh. Dang. So now I need to stop. I need to start dropping some max cover D. Because he's getting a little too used to the pressure. I don't even know if his quarterback can run, but I guess I guess we'll give him the benefit of a doubt. Oh, you would throw an out route. You freaking... Mm. Hate that. Out route. Who is his quarterback? Is he using Matt Ryan, too? I think he is using Matt Ryan, now that I think about it. Oh, dude, the cloud zone. That's a good, that's a good coverage. I love the cloud zone. Check this out. Everything's going to be clouded. Huh? Let's see what I did. Alright, I got Mingo. I got Mingo. He's my boy. I got him. I got him using it. Tight ends covered, manned up. 
I'm gonna go press the slot. I'm gonna go press the slot. Oh, I didn't get there in time. Mm, mm, mm. Pick that off, Connor, you foul. Oh, you suck. Dang it. If I had my roster, if my guys were injured because they fought hard for coach. Dang it. All right, guys. This is where you send man pressure. And you better, better freaking get home. Get over there, get over there, get over there. Oh, balls, dang it. I need to get on that. Oh, Camardi, Camardi. Yes, Camardi. No, Camardi. Dang it. Oh, I got to call T.O. here. Because I have to, because what I'm trying to do here, if I don't call T.O., he's got two timeouts. He can just clock me. What I'm trying to do is get three opportunities for me to blitz him in. Because if I don't do that, then he's easily got a mathematically clocking quarterback sneak it for three yards. Simple as one, two, three. Why would you overturn it? It's not like he got the ball back. I hate when that happens. You guys ever have? I don't. You probably don't. I don't know. You probably don't even play the game. You're just watching to have a good laugh. Come on, come on, come on! I need you guys to be there for me. Come on, come on, come on! Give me that out route to Gronk. Give me that out route to Gronk. Mm, mm. Oh, he went to the inside. What a call by that guy! Good call, buddy. I'll give you that field goal. I'll give, that was a good call, guys. He'd been throwing the out route, throwing the out route, throwing the out route, and then he threw the slant, uh, the little double move to the inside, right at the right time, caught me off balance. So now this is uh, nine seconds. This is where you basically say throw an interception. You're not trying to get sacked. You're trying to get him to throw into coverage, which is why you're going to drop your max coverage defense, and you're going to try to force him to throw the ball into coverage. Yeah, three deep. Should be good all over. Ah, oh, shoot. I might be in trouble here. Gosh, dog it! Zones don't play right! Mmm! Might have been my fault, but dang! Like, when you have 25 people in coverage, they can just throw the ball right at you. Mmm! Come on, come on. Come on, we got we got single back ace here. Probably a run. Nope. Oh, get there, get there, get there, get there right there! Boom! Come on, he shows up big. Two possession lead going in half. That's exactly what we need. We get ball after half. Boom! We need like a we need like a, a CN Spiller special here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come oh, he kicked it to me. Oh, he did not kick me the ball. Go. Go, Clyde Gates. Go, Clyde Gates! No! You idiot! What are you doing? Why did you initiate contact? Oh my god. There's only one play in this situation. Empty tray. That won't work. Dang it. Shotgun spread. Oh, it might. Yes, it will work. Yes, flanker dig. Yes, 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 yes. Flanker dig. And what you're going to do is you're going to motion Carter. Or you're, no, you're not going to motion Carter. You're going to motion Gates because Gates doesn't matter because he sucks. You're going to motion Car Gates across. You're going to get uh, seven-man protection here. You're trying to hit the wheel. Come on, Matt Ryan. Oh, I got it. Oh, he dropped it, A.J. Green. Dang it. Almost got it, guys. But I get ball. So, ha. Huh. I can't believe that, though. I should have returned that kick. I only had one guy to break, and I broke him, but he initiated that stupid contact. Chris Carter won't do that. Chris Carter's smart. Come on, Chris Carter. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. I meant to juke, but I accidentally forgot to hit the juke button. You ever do that? Like you? Well, like I was hitting it, but it... I hit it like like I hit it in the wrong direction on accident. I got a little too happy. Oh, I should have so called that PA wide receiver in last time. All right, trips open. That's always a good formation. No, it's not. It sucks. Nothing good in there. I need to find me a bench. 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 Yes, bench switch. Boom. I broke this down in the Green Bay playbook from the single back bunch or single back tight. Same concept from the shotgun ball or the shotgun tight. Just the only difference is you can't get that cute little motion into the backfield and put him on a wheel. That's why you hurdle people, guys. That's why you hurdle people. AJ Green makes up for his failure at the end of half. Get some. Let's go. So right there, basically, I just used the motion snap thing out of the out of the bench, and ended up luckily. Um, no, luckily it was the first time I went to it, and my dude just didn't cover me. 
Try to get it again, though. He might cover it this time. Oh, he ran commit, so I can hit the flat. So that's where you take the corner routes, driving the flat routes, because you're at that point on the field where there's no reason to have a corner route because it's not going to be open. So you use flat routes in case they don't go cover two. And he did go cover two there, but he ran commit, so I took advantage of that. So that's a pretty good drive there. Not really even a drive, just pretty good reads there all through. Can't let him to the edge. Nice play, McManus. McManus is a playmaker. I tell you what, man, he got I me mean, a couple interceptions last game. All right, nickel three three five, Sam even. Cover mm, through bluff, cover through bluff, come on. Let's see what I can do with this. Spread the line. Shift linebackers right. Oh, 99 concepts. Look at that. Bam. Pass commit. I forgot to pass commit. No. Ugh. Oh, get it, get it, get it. How the crap? Ugh. How did you get that? Can we challenge that? I don't even know. You don't even need a challenge. Why don't I need a challenge? Get the ball back anyway. Come on. Mm. Need to pass commit. Pass commit. I pass committed. Bam. And of course, as soon Man, this guy's got some 99 strategy right now. Dang, go on. Good thing Mingo is a Mingo. So I hope you guys like the Ultimate Team gameplay. Hope you guys like the Ultimate Team gameplay. It's fun to play it. It really is. I enjoy doing it. Like if I had to keep one commentary for my f for my sanity and it's something I really like to do. Oh, I'm all over that. Get off me. Uh. If I had to have one commentary to keep my sanity, this is like the funnest thing. I look forward to this every week because I look forward to this and the gameplay because like I love doing tips, but at the same time, like that stuff kind of it takes a lot out of me. It, for, really not for the tips part. It's just because like I put a lot of energy into finding stuff and. and what are you? Oh, wow. That was the dumbest and smartest play I've ever seen. Daggone it. He's going to do it again. If he does it again, I got him. Mm. 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 Lock up, baby. Mm. So what I did there was I called uh, cover two. I sent two-way pressure, and I usered the middle. I put the dudes in the safeties. I put them in the yellow so they would come down. Basically, just got caused a change up in his mind. He didn't make a good read, and pressure came in. So and there we go. And now we can clock him out. I mean, mathematically, he should never be not be able to come out come out of this with a win. Um, but I do want to keep him under six. So, but what was, what was I saying? Ultimate team funnest thing, like my funnest commentary of the week. Cause tips are great, but they just don't like. I feel like some. I feel like I just get like burnt out on tips. I do a lot of tips. I do a lot of blitz of the days, a lot of scheme of the weeks, and and I want to just relax and not play the game. So that's what Ultimate Team is for me, and I really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, I will. You know, I'll just play it for myself. I don't have to commentate on it. But yeah, I, I love do. I love calling. I love doing it. So. Oh, I totally hit the wrong button there. Dang it! You should take a field goal here, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Um, actually, no, you shouldn't take a field goal. Oh, dude, I, I, I really want a fake punt run. I really, like, you guys, I've never done it before. I've never done a fake punt run. This is a first, guys. This is a man first. You're seeing it live. Fake punt run. I mean, you obviously go for this, because you're up three scores no matter what. Go! Havili, you are garbage. You're the worst fullback ever. How did you not get that? There was nobody. Goal line, D. I like the goal line. Uh, the reason I like, I've been actually really considering messing around goal line a little bit because it just, it, it does, I mean, obviously it didn't there, but typically it'll just lock up the run. And you can just adjust out of it, back off the coverage, play action blocking. Daggone it, why do I keep leaving the middle of the field open? I need to get out of goal line now. <laughs> I used it once. Mm. Tough. Shoot, shoot. There we go. Got it. Should get it. Should get it here. Boom! Let's go! Did you guys see that? That was cool. What I did there was, um, he went throwing that little seam pass up the seam, uh, a little seam pass up the Throwing a streak to the slot. And, um, I quickly, I didn't adjust 
very good to start out. I caught on, and uh, I basically just manned up the dude in the goal line that, that was in the actual original deep blue zone. And I knew that he was going to, that was his main read. If I could lock that up, I had him because the pressure comes in so quick out of goal line. That's why I like it so much. It comes in really, really fast. So I can get by with, you know, I, I, I can kind of get by with it. Wait, it is. Pick that off. Bill Bentley, you garbage corner. Ugh. I need some corners with awareness or something. I don't know what I need. I just need you. Like, if I put you there, make the catch. Mm, third and 15. Third and 15. Need you. Mm, mm, mm. Come on. Come on. Should get two-way Pete here. He blocks both of them. Everybody's manned up. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Totally got him. Boom. Let's go, Dan Connor. What up, buddy? All right, no huddle. Uh, we're going to do the same exact thing. And we'll send this guy. Now we got the two deeps, and we're going to come over and manually press Gr uh, Graham because that's going to press everybody he's got. I'm sending two way. And there we go. There's Bill Bentley getting his. There's Bill Bentley. There's Bill Bentley. Get some of that, Bill Bentley. Nice play, buddy. That was a big interception. That basically seals it. I mean, yeah, he's, he's probably going to quit. But, guys, I really, I really, really love doing these commentaries. I hope you guys enjoyed, too. I feel like there's something you can get out of them. You know, maybe some adjustment or something. But definitely uh, check out the rest of the series. I really enjoy doing these commentaries. And uh, they're probably my funnest thing to do this week. So enjoy this gameplay. And then also come back later in the week for our, uh, our actual breakdown gameplay where we get serious and, and really lock in on our scheme of the week. So thanks for watching today, guys. If you liked the video, retweet it and give it a like rating. Thanks for watching. See you next week for another Ultimate Team gameplay.